everybody it's Liz finally finally oh my god it's been months um <laughs> so yeah crazy crazy stuff has been going on in my life I think first I was with my parents because my mom had shingles and then I got back from that and wow 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 um at first I was a little um uh down uh, after visiting my parents, you know, the letdown of all of that and uh, couldn't get myself together. And then a crazy thing happened. Um, we were able to buy another property down the street from our cabin. Um, <clears throat> so that has been amazing. So yeah, we bought another seven and a half acres with a cabin on it. Now the cabin has to be finished. The raccoons have been living in it for a few years <laughs> partying. Um, but yeah, so that'll be, um, but the land was amazing and we couldn't pass up the deal. So, um, we did that. And, uh, so we've been, like I said, it's been over, it was overgrown. It was crazy. We couldn't see a lot of the cabin. I mean, we could, sort of get into the cabin um so at first we couldn't and then crazy somebody broke in the weekend we were buying it now like I said there was absolutely nothing in there so I'm sure they were super surprised when they broke in and there was nothing in there but um yeah so good that we could get in the cabin and finally see it but bad that somebody broke in um so yeah, it was just a matter of, you know, getting security cameras up and clearing the land. Oh my goodness, we had to have somebody come in and help us clear the brush and the bramble and everything that was in there. So we finally got that cleared and we finally could see the cabin for really what it was, um, really what it looked like. And uh, yeah, we're excited about that. And then, um, of course, working on Chipmunk Ridge, um, which is our other property. Um, so, yeah, and I cooked for our Airbnb guests. Um, and, yeah, so it has been a crazy, crazy, crazy couple of months. And now we're in contract on another piece of land. Um, and this one is so cool because it backs up right against our property um our neighbors in back of us um so we have 10 acres they have the immediate 20 acres in back of us so we can walk like straight through um to their property and like I said they have 20 acres and um they approached us and said hey we're looking to sell were you were you guys interested and we were like absolutely um, so just like I said, crazy enough, we're in contract on that piece of land. So that'll be fantastic. We'll have 30 continuous acres to do, uh, what we wanted to do with our 10 acres, which was put treehouse cabins in. And, uh, yeah, so that has what's been going on in my life and, Yes, I have been crafting through all of that or journaling, you know, junk journaling through all of that. So that's what I want to show you today is what I have been up to. So I did finish, finally, finally finish the Dragonfly journal, which will be going up in my Etsy shop um, later on this afternoon if I can get my you know, shit together, excuse my language. Um, it's like I said, another crazy day for me. Um, I have to bring my husband lunch and which I love to do. Um, I get to see him during the day a little bit. And, um, so yeah, uh, I guess I'm kind of finished with the Dragonfly Journal. I have a little, I have a few more beads and stuff to put on, but without further ado, let me, um, get on with the flip through of this lovely journal and then I was working on this one as well so I got this completed um and I am just gonna so this is some of the ephemera that I have left over and I wanted to show you this and get your opinion on it to see if I needed to add anything to the journal, I made this little, um, 
uh, paper bag kind of pocket. Um, and I just didn't, I mean, it was getting to be, as you can see, kind of a chunky monkey. And I, you know yourself when you're making a journal, you can just continue to add and add and add and add and add. And then I got to a point where I was like, you know, maybe I shouldn't be adding anymore. But like I said, opinion, if you want me to add this, I can. And then I pulled out some um, paper, some some jelly print papers that I've done, and we'll see if we're going to add those. So I'm going to put this aside, and we're going to get into this journal. So if you stay with me through all that, thank you. And now is the journal, so I'll have to put some time stamps on here and make sure you can get in. So I just have it um, held together by this ribbon, which I thought matched so well with the dragonflies and um so we'll set that aside um this is that fabric that i showed you guys and i just um uh put the burlap on here um so that you couldn't see the strings um sometimes i don't mind seeing the strings but on this one i just didn't want to so i have that now i didn't do anything on the cover purposely because my husband was like oh my goodness you cannot cover that dragonfly up so I had stuff ready to go for the cover and then both my girlfriend and my husband were like you know what no it's a no from us to cover that up so and we have another one on the back so that is what I did and I added some book corners to this one which I thought were fun and then this is where um, I just need to add a couple of more beads and stuff to this. Um, I think I, I may just cut them off because I have um, these two little, I have a dragonfly and I just have some um, kind of faux turquoise and faux um, uh, marble on here. So I have that. And then we open it up, and I think I did sort of a flip through before, but um, here we go. And this just needs to be um, trained to kind of open a little bit. Um, you can kind of bend it and push it over, but I'm not going to do that. I'll let, the, I'll let the recipient do that. So then I just have a book plate, and this book belongs to... Um, so here's some stamping, and just I've stuck with mostly the greens and the blues in this one. There is some hints of purple every once in a while, but mostly the greens and blues. Um, I just fell in love with them and I had, believe it or not, I had most of the stuff to do greens and blues. So I did and see, you'll see some purples in there too. Um, there's some other colors, um, like here's the oranges and stuff. So just a little tag and that goes in here and a little ticket and then you'll see the peekaboo um, dragonfly and this actually comes off. I'm not going to take it off but that actually comes off and you can put it anywhere in the book you want. You can glue it over here or keep it paper flipped in. Um, so then some dragonflies and some faux tape that I made and then I have some... Um, uh, I like this crinkly, um, it's a, uh, holy goodness, Elizabeth, a bag, a glassine bag. So I have that and then just a dragonfly, um, oops, a dragonfly index card in that. And that just slides in here like so. And I love that because it fit kind of perfectly in there, which... I couldn't believe. So then I just have some faux tape on stuff that um, I was not as delicate on. I did tear some stuff, but I thought it looked really cool. Um, so yeah, and then I have just little fairies in here as well. So you'll see those poking up through. And then I have um, envelopes. And I did not put anything in there. Um, sometimes I like to leave stuff not, um, what am I trying to say? Not filled, um, because I want the recipient to be able to fill pockets and all that. And so then we just have another 
um, music page with a fairy on the bottom. And I will cover this up. Um, I will go through this one more time before I, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go through it one more time before I um, sell it and cover stuff up like this. And oh, hey, hey, hey. All right. You know what? That is where that's going. And we can fill that up right now. So guess what? That is where that's going. So I don't need your opinion on this. <laughs> I am going to put it right there. And we're going to use some um, Fabri-Tac for that. So it doesn't get, um, so it, you know, it's strong. It's strong because that page is a little bit, um, is a little bit flimsy. So we will put a lot of Fabri-Tac on that and we will get this in. So yeah, hey, that was easy peasy. So I will put that right there and then we will go from there. So I will show you what's in this pocket. So we'll let that glue down. So easy peasy, all right, it doesn't show on the back. Fabulous. So in this pocket, now we have a new, well, let's see if we can tack that down a little bit more. Let's glue that. You know what? I'll show you that pocket at the end because I want that to, I want that to stick down. Oh, that's what it is. I'm going to glue that. It's, it's not the, yeah, there we go. It's not the, um, it's not the back. It's the side and we'll leave that. Probably should have left that gusseted, but I didn't like the way it was sticking up there. So I'm going to, I am going to glue this side too. Just a little bit of glue in there. And we'll get that stuck down. So I hope everybody is well. I, like I said, it has been a crazy ride and I am doing fabulously. Um, so anyway, so that's what's in this pocket. Just a little, um, little tag with some um, trim in here. And then this one comes out like so, and little butterfly, and the back is done. So, well, that was good. We got that taken care of. And oh, did I glue that? Did I? Did I really glue that? No, I didn't, because it just came out of there. Oh my goodness, Elizabeth. Okay, there we go. So now this tag, and like I said, I did these tags from a master board um, from my um, scraps. Um, so these were scraps left over from another project. And uh, so I made a master board with them and then just made some tags for here. And you'll see, like I said, you'll see some different colors in here, definitely. Um, I tried to stick with the blues and greens, but I did throw some other colors in here just because... Um, I was getting, I thought I was getting two green and blue. So then we just have a um, paper in here. This is just graph paper that slides in here. And then I did some die cuts. Um, I got a new die cutting machine, so I've been having fun with it. And then this tag that just slides in this section. So we can have her peeking out if we want, like so. And then, like I said, I left some pages intentionally blank. Um, I do like to leave pages blank in my journals um, for writing and stuff. So, And then we have this tag that goes like this. And these were just book pages um, that I watercolored on. So I think I actually, um, instead of watercolor, I think I smushed these um, you know, on an acrylic block with, uh, I think it was faded jeans and peeled paint that I used throughout this journal, Oxides. Um, we have another page that's blank. And then we have the middle of the first signature, and that's where the bead is on this one. And then I cut the other tail on this one. And then we have some writing space and some more writing space. Um, like I said, let me know if you feel like this needs something else. Um, it's just me. I write in my journals, 
So I like tons of writing space. Um, so yeah, and then just this one and this tag and that's gets put in there and just some more die cuts and some cheesecloth. Um, we have some more piano notes and these are our old piano notes, I believe from the fifties. Um, so I have that and oh no, oh no. Uh oh. Okay, we'll have to we'll have to cover that up somehow. Um I always get overzealous with my gluing sometimes and well not overzealous, but yes, the glue speed spurts out and then I start gluing cages together. So we'll cover that up. Um and then I have just a tag. I got this idea from Bonnie over at Bonnie and Clive, and these are just um, triple pocket tags. Um, these little, there we go. These little um, paper clips like to get stuck because they're rusted. I rusted them. So, and then this just pops out of here, and then this just pops out of here. And I believe this is not a triple pocket, but a double pocket tag. So we we'll just have another tag like that. And like I said, some of these I left blank just because I want the recipient to be able to do that. So that's just paper clipped in here. And like I said, these little paper clips are sometimes a little bit difficult. I love them. I love the rusted look, but um, they are a little difficult to get out sometimes. So this is just the other side of that um, glassine bag so that I just... Um, stamped on and then this is another die cut that I made um with actually um Darcy over at Misadventures with Mixed Media um I bought her free or was it a freebie no I think I bought it um one of her jelly prints and I just thought it matched the start jerk I thought Ugh. I thought it matched this journal perfectly, so you'll see some of that in there. Um, so just dictionary page from like the 30s, um, very old and weathered. And then you'll find some of these in here um, with just little sayings on them. And these are um, also cards that I smushed with that faded glory and that peeled paint. Um, so then we have some dragonflies in here. And... Like I said, I did add purple in here, so we have that, and that's just popped up on some foam tape. And these are my, I will link this video. Um, so this is my scalloped um, whale tail punch, and I show you how to make those in one of my videos. So I will link that below. I just love the scalloped edge. I think that's so pretty. So, and then we have um, this, and we have another little pocket here. And like I said, this one's blank. Um, you can take this off and put this anywhere in the journal you want. And then this is actually glued down. Little peekaboo pocket, little tags, um, tickets, um, some more faux tape. Um, and then we have this with another little index card. Um, cut in half so and that says sometimes you have to take chances so there's that and that just slides in here like so and then we have some more music paper and another little tag and that's just blank on the back so I'm not going to take that out because like I said these paper clips I, while I love them they're a little um, tricky to get on and off so um some more faux tab and then here is that mixed media piece that Darcy did. Um, and this one is just a pocket. Um, and it's got a little index card that comes out that says, enjoy the little things. And a little tab punch that I have um, a die cut for. And just more die cuts here and here. I loved how delicate these were. And uh, so here's some more, like I said, I have some, I was playing a lot with my die cutting machine because I just got a new switch, um, you know, a Sizzix uh, switch uh, plus. Um, so I was really excited about die cuts in this journal. I hope I'm in frame and I don't think I was, but 
Um, we'll see. Um, I'm trying to be, and I'm also trying to be less um, glaring. So, and here's the other um, side of that envelope, which is actually on this is in this end of the signature. So, one side and then another little pocket and some more tickets in here. And like I said, I did not glue these down because I wanted people to be able to put them in there and just some stitching. Um, I had fun with stitching in this journal. I did. So this one is actually not glued in, it's just stuck in this little pocket. And then some more of that smushing and dragonfly stamps. Um, so here is a more of that um, jelly print from Darcy um, and then just faux um, things. And uh, <coughs> sorry guys, my throat, let me take a sip of coffee um, because my throat is starting to get scratchy. On top of everything else, I started voice lessons. Um, my husband plays guitar and so anyway, we want to be able to sing in front of the campfire or stuff like that. And so we're both taking voice lessons and my throat is froggy because A, it's allergy season here in Ohio and um, B, it is um, just singing um, for a couple of hours a day. Um, I honestly don't know how the start, the the stars do it like Taylor Swift and everybody like that. It just, wow, wow, to do a whole concert. And I know they train their voices and I just need to do that. But wow, it has been kind of amazing to just see how um, that whole process goes is really been eye opening. Um, so here's the other pocket on that and uh, some more faux stitching, some more tags. This is actually a belly band. Um, so I'll, just, I'll throw something in there, probably another graph paper. Um, so then we have this little pocket um, that says be fearless and just a little ticket on back. And here's some more of that smushing and one of those double um, pockets again. And like I said, I'm not going to take these out. Um, but same little pocket and little, um, fairy in this one. So yeah, this one's a big journal guys. This one is a big journal. Some more faux paper and then, um, stitching on this one, or I'm sorry, not stitching fairy. I meant, I don't know why stitching came out. And then here I got, um, a circle stamp, um, that I made from foam, um, you know, that, uh, fun foam that the kids use to make things is what this is. Um, so I made a, I made a circle stamp out of it, um, and a dragonfly, and it just says what seems ordinary to often, is often the extraordinary. Um, sorry, I don't have my glasses on. Uh, so yeah, just this and, um, we'll throw something in this pocket. I'm glad I'm going through this before I put it up for sale because now I know what I need to fill and what I need to still do. So thought this was done. Um, so we just have another ticket in there and this is not, um, clipped in, but I am gonna, I am gonna take this one out, um, and uh, show you it's just an index card on the back and this and this is just a peekaboo pocket that I did so that one gets stuck in there like that and these are those um they got a little um darker if you notice it's not the faded jeans and uh peeled paint um this is actually the powders um the watercolor powders can't remember the name of the ones that I have if I remember because I'm not great about remembering to link things but if I remember I'll link them below, below. they're so much fun to play with um you just kind of tap them and like little granules of powder comes out and then when you spray water on it it just grows it's so fun and so beautiful um so there's another um, envelope on this one 
and I believe, yeah, this is the last signature. So I believe this is, I, I know this is the last signature. And another belly band, which has to be filled, um, dragonfly on this one. And there's another um, paper bag, um, glassine type paper bag in this one. And some tickets in this one. And then another um, daisy um, tag in this. Um, some more graph paper with tape, faux tape. And then here's where I started using the... Um, the watercolor granules on this side. So each um, each signature is a little different. Definitely, I started growing as um, you know, kind of my art started growing throughout this journal. Um, so this splatter that you see here is actually the stamp, and I hate. I I really do hate showing people, but I do get questions about it. And unfortunately, it's a 1997 ancient um, stamp from Stampin' Up. And it came in a set of four. And they're all so much fun, but I do use this that one the most. Um, and I just like it because it breaks up the words. Um, so you're not like reading words. It's more just like a pretty pattern on there. So I did that on both sides. And then I have another one of those master board uh, tags and that just sticks into this little pocket and some um, washi tape on these ends, some bow tape. And then here's another, um, this is the faded glory and the um, peeled paint or faded glory. Oh my goodness. <laughs> jeans and that's just um blank on the other side this is actually watercolor paper um so i did that and this and then some more um i love this die cut i just like i said i got some dies that i just fell in love with and um these are some of them so this was actually a jelly print that i did um i was playing with jelly prints um, a bit ago and I pulled some out. Um, so here's another one of those tags and this is actually um, this is actually a triple pocket tag. So you have some things that you can um, decorate with in this one and then the middle one is actually a blank uh, tag and then I believe this tag is also blank so that just slides in there like that and then I'm gonna tuck him let's see if I can tuck him in so he's not okay there we go we'll tuck him in and we'll tuck that in there and um then I had some um I believe this is Darcy's paper again but this might be mine I can't remember I believe this might be mine but um it's either mine or Darcy's uh, that's what I use throughout. So, and then some more fairies and some more um, flowers on this one. This is the other side of that bag. Um, oh, we got some fluff in here. Um, and so that is that. And then we have this and another tag in this one. And we're coming to the end. And some more dragonflies and some more of that antique... Um, dictionary page um so there's the other opposite side of that envelope and some more graph paper and then this was fun i had this left over from one of my dies and i thought it would be fun to put a clear pocket in here and then these are some more tags that you can um decorate yourself um i thought that that like i said i'd like to add stuff like that to my journals that you can decorate yourself so yeah, and that's the end of that one. And like I said, I do have some stuff, obviously, to... Um, I have some stuff to fill, obviously. And uh, then she will go up for sale this afternoon. Um, I know this video was super long, so I'm not even going to go into the little dragon journal that I made. I will just quickly 
kind of show you maybe I'll do another video right after this and get like a bonus video up today um, that has this little dragon journal in it um, but thanks for sticking with me if you stuck with me until the end I appreciate that and um, I will catch you in the next video